KS Services is now offering preventative maintenance plans as low as $12 a month. Preventative maintenance is so important when it comes to your HVAC system. Let us come check your system out and perform our 22-point inspection. It's better to be safe than sorry. We have so many plans to choose from and special offers that go along with them. Call today for more information. 205-322-9090. Alabama license number 11120. It's the Weather Extreme Video, the morning edition. This is for Wednesday, the 23rd of January. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather wet today. Maybe some strong storms down near the Gulf Coast. We turn colder tomorrow and Friday. Another shot of cold air by the middle part of next week as the hits just keep on coming. Here we go. A big trough to the west. It'll be uh, bringing the rain to Alabama today. Check the radar this morning. That was at 452. And we had some... Scattered rain falling, mainly west of I-65. The rain becomes widespread across the state later today. Temperatures have been slowly creeping up overnight with clouds and a strong south wind. We have upper 40s and 50s, Birmingham at 55. We'll go in the low 60s in most spots today. But colder air knocking on the door. That cold front, as you can see, is coming down through Arkansas, Louisiana, and it will be colder tomorrow, and especially on Friday. Uh, 40s tomorrow and the high Friday in the low 40s with a pretty good north breeze tomorrow. There's the uh, watch warning map around the nation. Up north, blizzard warnings for parts of Minnesota and the Dakotas. Winter storm warnings in effect. Parts of Iowa, northern Illinois, south Wisconsin around Milwaukee. Winter weather advisories, much of the northeast United States. And down here, that is a wind advisory for most all of Alabama except the southeastern tip of the state. That's for strong south winds today. These are gradient winds of 15 to 25 with higher gusts. So hang on to your hat. Severe weather outlook at a risk of severe storms today on the Gulf Coast, all the way from around Morgan City, Louisiana, down to near Fort Myers, Florida. In Alabama, there is the standard slight risk for the southern half of Mobile and Baldwin counties, areas in yellow. And there could be a few isolated tornadoes or water spouts down in that zone today. That's where the air should be pretty unstable. And then the lower end threat, a marginal risk as far north as Demopolis, Greenville, and Geneva. And no severe weather expected over the northern half of the state. No thunder for the Tennessee Valley. Tomorrow, marginal risk over central Florida. That includes places like Orlando, Fort Myers, Daytona Beach. And the precipitation for the next seven days. Most of the action in the east. Rain amounts here, one to two inches for much of the state. Maybe an excessive two inches for parts of South Alabama. And the bulk of that's going to be today. So, model fans, let's dig in here and take a look. There's the GFS, the 06E run at noon today. There's your trough. And here comes the rain. Rain fairly widespread. A good soaking. Rain amounts one to two inches. This tonight at midnight. Yeah, as the rain tapers off, there might be a little snow flurry or two somewhere. But uh, we expect no impact, no accumulation. No big deal. Tomorrow, the sky becomes mostly sunny. Colder, the high will be in the mid to upper 40s. Then a secondary cold front comes through tomorrow night. And uh, again, that might squeeze out a flurry somewhere. And this is Friday. Uh, colder, the high in the low 40s. Uh, we start the day down in the 20s, but the sky will be sunny. So cold and dry on Friday. What about the weekend, you ask? Saturday, we pretty cold early in the day. We'll be down in the 20s, but the high Saturday should be in the 50s. The sky will be sunny. And Sunday, a clipper passes north of the state, but the air is just too dry for any rain here. Uh, we'll call it partly sunny, and again, high should be in the 50s. So a dry weekend with cold mornings and, and fairly comfortable afternoons. Let's keep on going. This is Monday. Uh, we're dry, and we could see low 60s maybe. That'll feel fairly nice. But Tuesday, here comes another clipper, surface front. And that might squeeze out some light rain, probably will. And again, as the colder air rushes in, there's evidence that there could be a few flurries or snowflakes maybe on the back edge of that. But traditionally, in situations like this, precipitation should be fairly fairly light. And uh, I would not expect at this point any impact or accumulation. And then Wednesday of next week, ooh, look at the vortex over eastern Canada. That's cold looking up there. And down below that, uh, we're cold and dry. 
Uh, highs only around 40 uh, Wednesday of next week. And these are the anomalies. And you can see it's brutally cold. Uh, Minnesota, uh, Chicago, Des Moines, places like that. Let's keep going. This is out uh, 10 days. This is Friday of next week, the 1st of February. How about that? Another trough over the east. And again, here comes more cold air with a 1042 high. But again, at this point, we stress we're seeing no evidence of any high-impact snow or ice event for the Deep South for a while. We'll keep an eye on things, but in winter, still young. But uh, for now, nothing more than a flurry or two along the way. Here are the numbers off the European Ensemble. 61 today, then we drop in the 40s tomorrow and Friday. Then we warm up another shot of cold air. Look at Wednesday of next week, the European Ensemble showing 34 for Birmingham. And again, then we warm up with 50s by early February. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.